Hello my friends and welcome to Paulina Art. Today I'm going to be sharing with you eight tips on how to improve your paintings. I'm going to be painting this sunset to demonstrate. The first step is to prep your canvas with a generous coat of white gesso. This is really going to help and improve the way your paint goes on the canvas. Step number two is to use chalk to sketch on your canvas. I normally divide my canvas in four equal sections and this really helps me to place the items I want on the canvas. I'm using here some painter's tape because this is going to help my horizon line to be nice and straight. Tip number three is to use the right size of brushes and style of brushes to do the job. Here for my background, I'm using a large filbert brush. A filbert brush is like a flat brush, but with rounded edges. A filbert brush will prevent streaking when I'm doing a blended background like I'm doing in here. Tip number four is to look at the color wheel to decide what colors you're going to use for your painting. In most cases, such as in this sunset, I'm using complementary colors. I'm going to attach a link here to a video where I discuss in more details how to use color effectively. I'm moving here to a round brush. This brush is going to help me create the shapes that I want, a soft rounded shape for the sun. The white that I'm using in this set is not very bright, not very opaque. So I'm going to use a more opaque white from, from a different brand to create the effect of the sun. I'm testing this paint. I'm going to attach a link to the review once I upload that video. So I'm using now here a white from a different set to create the bright white sun that I one for this painting. For this painting, I'm using complementary colors of orange, yellows, and blue. It's important to keep in mind not to overmix them because complementary colors tend to get very muddy when we overmix them. So I clean my brush every time I dip into the opposite color. And I'm using the same round brush to add the effect of the sunset. I'm back to my large filbert brush to start creating the ocean. And I start with the lighter colors, my light warm colors, because I don't want them to get dark and muddy once I start applying the blue. Complementary colors look amazing together, but be careful not to mix them and make, and make them muddy. I want my horizon line to be darker to create the effect of distance in the horizon. Tip number five is not to overmix your colors, especially complementary colors because they tend to get brown and muddy and they lose their original initial vibrancy. I'm adding more white here to create a lot of shadow and light into the painting. White is a great color to use to add light to your paintings.
Number six is to make sure you have a lot of contrast between light and dark. This is going to make your painting much more interesting. I'm using a round brush here to create a bit of a shoreline and I'm using brown mixed with black because I don't want the black to be I don't want the shoreline to be extremely dark I want it more of a dark brown number seven is to get the proportions right and this is what I'm measuring with my brush I want to make sure the palm trees the trunks don't go too far into the painting because I don't want the palm trees to cover the beautiful sunset that I created. So it's important to do some measurements in your mind to place the elements of the painting correctly. Now I'm moving to a small detail brush to create the branches of the palm tree. Now we can see in this painting the sunset is very very bright reflecting on the water. Then we have the dark blue of the water and the sky and closer to us are the even darker palm trees and this adds the dimension, distance and perspective that I'm looking for basically playing with light and dark colors. This fine detail brush is really helpful to create the details that I'm looking for in this painting. I'm adding a little bit of um, grass at the bottom and I'm going to add some birds as a final detail. I'm showing you here how I create my birds in a very easy way, almost like a bee. So I'm going to add these final details to my painting. And the painting is completed. I hope these eight tips were helpful and informative. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give it a like, comment below, share with your friends, and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any future content from me. I'm going to list on the description box below the eight tips that I talked about in this video.